Uh, we're going to solve this problem, which is uh, pretty calculator dependent. So we want to find all the vectors that have a magnitude of 8. Uh, we're calling this vector a, such that the dot product of a and the vector is uh, 4. Uh, a and the vector 4, negative 7 is 5. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the calculator to do a lot of this. And uh, if you have a cast, you can do exactly what I do. If not, you'll have to do some of it by hand. First thing I'm going to do is um, define the vector a to just be uh, x, y. And then I know the magnitude, so that's the norm of a is equal to, uh, I think it was 8. Yep, 8 is equal to 8. Um, I'd like something more useful, so what I'm going to do is square that. So that gives me one equation. Um, I'm also told that the dot product of a and the vector 4, negative 7 is 5. And let me go back and just check that. 4, negative 7 is 5. Yep. Um, so do that. And now I actually have two equations, two unknowns. So what I'm going to do is um, solve this like I don't have a cast. So what I'll do is define f1. I'm going to solve it by graphing. I'm going to define f1 to be uh, 5 minus 4x and then over negative 7. So the calculator doesn't care if you simplify that, so I'm not going to. Um, and then f2, I'm going to define to be uh, the positive square root. So I need square root of 64 minus x squared. Um, and then f3, I'm going to define to be the negative square root. f3, negative square root. Okay, so now I'll add a graphing page. And I'll go up and I'll graph these. So enter, press tab, enter, press tab, enter. Um, I'm going to resize my screen a little by, uh, well, first let me drag this label out of the way. I'm going to resize this a little bit by just grabbing and dragging. Um, or you could just use window and resize. Um, now what I want to do is I want to find the intersection because the solutions to that equation are the vectors that we're looking for. So analyze graph intersection, select the first graph, select the second graph, to the left, to the right. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on that, I'm going to go control and then store, store that as x1, I'm going to repeat, so click, control, store, y1, and while I'm here I'm going to get this second intersection point. Analyze graph, intersection, graph, first graph, the second graph, need to be a little to the left, oh, I didn't click it, click, a little to the left, and a little to the right, click, okay, so that's the second thing, but I'm not going to check that one, uh, so what I'll do now is, uh, I'm going to check my answer, so insert another calculator page, and I need the dot product of my vector, which is x1, y1, and uh, the given vector, negative, uh, 4, negative 7. Let's see what I get there. I get 5, which is what I was looking for. And if I find the norm, or the magnitude, of x1, y1, it's the 8 that I was looking for. So um, the vector, that vector is one of the vectors that I wanted. And the other vector in component form is actually uh, the coordinates of this point. And uh, that's how I would use my calculator to solve this. If I had a cast, which I do, I would actually um, go back to this page and do solve, arrow up to get this, type and, arrow up to get this, comma x to tell it what to solve for. Um, then control enter um, and it actually gives me both ordered pairs without doing the graphing thing but uh, it'll work no matter what calculator you have so I hope that is helpful